that was cred and uh Yeah, uh, got me a little story about one time I'm sitting there, sitting there with my buddy, a lot like right now I'm sitting at this table, I'm sitting there at the table, we're having Bible discussion and all that, and this is, this is during, this, this was like even, this is probably about five, six years ago, this is when I realized I made the divergence from Churchianity into a more truthful understanding of biblical things, and even once you once you take that stand, you start to look more serious at history. Like you you look at Columbus and you say that's a lie, and you see that how that the Smithsonian covered up giants, uh, skeletons. Then you start to look at at uh, you know uh, Darwinism, social Darwinism. Uh, and then you know, once you learn about eugenics, then you start to question medical practices. I mean, uh, for instance, and it starts to breed a kind of. It sucks because this is not the intention of a lot of us out here, but it feels like everywhere we go, we're bumping heads with everything, and shitting on everyone's sunshine, and it, it's a real shitty feeling. But back to the story. The guy says to me, he says, man, you're, you're a contentious motherfucker. And I said, no, I'm not. And he goes, see, I told you you're contentious. See, that was a loaded question. You got to watch out. Sometimes people give you these questions. There is no right or wrong answer. And either way that you answer, you are going to get into an argument in a fight. See, that's what the word contentious means. One who is quick to contend. You know what I'm saying? So, a contentious person, you could say the sky's blue. And they'd say, well, it's light blue. Uh, you know, it's just, they can't, they can't never agree, for one. And then it, it's like they're quick to pick a fight. Like, people like that also, they got to be right. Uh, if you make a general statement, they take it personal. I mean, that's what contentiousness it truly is. I mean, uh, a lawyer is uh, should be contentious by nature because you're debating and you're arguing someone's uh, innocence in court. So, uh, contentiousness is not a bad thing, but it can be a very, uh, you know, uh, it's not, it doesn't always bring peace. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, so but in, in the Bible, there's many references to the word con to contention. And, and it talks about better for a man to dwell, to dwell in, in the corner of a roof than it is under the roof with a contentious woman. So the word contention also has a lot to do with women and how they like to fight and argue. Basically, uh, they would call that the Jezebel, the Jezebel spirit is the spirit of contention. It's like you contend with the men until the man submits and lets the woman make all the decisions. Uh, it says better for a man to go dwell in the wilderness than it is for a man to dwell under the roof with a contentious woman. So <laughs> that's another word that is uh tied in with womanry and you know what that's just really uh, that's you know that, that dude basically you know that was a fucking pretty offensive statement he said to me calling me uh, contentious and then it being true because i was like no i'm not contentious and by the fact of me protesting him calling me contentious i became contentious so contentiousness it's not good don't be don't be eager to contend with everyone about at everything. Uh, I think uh, there's a story about, it's a story about, I think, maybe Lao Tzu. And this man, 
This man calls him a big dumb ox. You know, and then Lousy walks away, you know, without saying anything. And he comes back to him the next time he sees him and he says, Ah, I should have called myself a big dumb ox anyway. So he agreed with the guy. That's how you fight contentiousness. Even though, by, by saying, yeah, I am a big dumb ox. Even if you truly are a big dumb ox, you, you're, you're fighting towards redeeming yourself, not that you can become your own God. And, and I'm not saying salvation wise, but we can strive and contend with ourselves to overcome some of our character flaws that causes contentions and just are uh, basically just a waste of energy. We could spend our time and energy and resources a better way than that. So that's why I made this video.